Welcome to our video on setting up your email accounts in cPanel. Now that you've acquired your all-in-one um, hosting package, you would have received your login details automatically when you created your account with HostDirect. Um, that is the username we're going to use and the password that was given to you. Um, and this will be a typical URL to access cPanel. That's where we're going to create our email account. So let's go in to a browser. And this is the URL. This is the example um, website we're going to be using globalmerchants.co.za forward slash cPanel. And there we are. I'm going to put in my username and my password. And there we are. We're looking at creating an email account so we move down the screen past databases domains get to email choose email accounts and let's create an email account called admin that's done for us in fact all are done for us okay just so to show you how um, Let's create a new email account. In your case, you won't have admin, so you would want to create the admin email account. So in this case, I'm going to create one called Abraham, which is my name, at globalmerchants.co.za. Um, so you only need to fill in the first part of the email address. The rest of it is given to you here. Um, if you fill any part of the domain name in here, you will um, get an error when you try and create the email account. So let's just try that. At, and you can see immediately it gives you an error because there's an illegal character in the email name. It's already given to you here. No need to put it in again. So I'm creating an email address for Abraham. And the password I'm putting in is my own. And I'm creating the account. I've allocated space to it as well of 1,024 megabytes. I can increase that or decrease that as I wish. So there's the email account created for us already. Abraham at globalmerchants.co.za. And um, there aren't any emails in there yet. So later on, if you wish to change your password, you can always come to the email account, choose it, and click on password. And that will open up the change password um, dialog box. Remember, passwords must match, otherwise it's not going to work, and create a strong password. It's best to use the password generator so that we can um, create a complex password that can't, can't be easily hacked. Um, in this case, I don't want to change a password. I've said it already. Quota would be the size of your email box, which we've set to 1024 megabytes. That's one gigabyte. Um, you could set this to anything you want to. If it's set to unlimited, then it would depend on the amount of storage space you have in your all-in-one package. So you want to allocate space wisely and um, make sure that your users clean up their mailboxes regularly. We'll show you how to do that a little later. Then you can set up your mail client from here and um, it will automatically set up your mail client, but we're going to show you how to do that 
manually right then we've got the more button um, at the end where we can access our our webmail accounts um, um, for Abraham at globalmerchants.co.za so I'm going to access the webmail account that's one way of accessing it that's through your control panel um, the other way to access it is to actually go to that URL um, in a browser so there we are we've got our webmail login and we're into our webmail interface um, this is I guess where you're going to be able to change your configuration options um, right now we're just going to introduce you to squirrel mail and we're going to set it as a default so that every time we come to view webmail it's going to present squirrel mail to us and not the three options that we see in front of us so we're in squirrel mail and it's going to show us um, our mailbox interface um, obviously it wants details filled in I'm going to save that for example display preferences I would like to have about a hundred emails displayed at a time so number of messages per page 100 and that will be fine so I'm going to submit that data and let's go to our inbox which is now empty because we don't have any mail in there but this is what it will look like and you can compose mail here and let's say I want to send mail to support at hostdirect.co.za that's the hosting company that provides the all-in-one package and I'm going to say thank you setting up my email um, in email account in cPanel was a breeze regards myself and of course you can include things like signatures so that it looks more professional and we learn how to build signatures later so I'm going to send this I don't have any attachments if I wanted to attach something here then I would have to browse for it and it would take me to my computer um, to find a file to attach um, 50 megabytes maximum file size to upload and that is more than reasonable nobody sends 50 megabytes of email these days so I'm sending the mail and there you are if I go to my sent items box the email should appear as being sent there there we are and if I wanted to read it if I wanted to read it I can read it by clicking on it there we are view the full header and you can do that with incoming mail that spam to identify exactly who sent it um, and where it's coming from what IP address and so forth and so on so there you are um, that is our webmail account so I'm going to just close this screen without logging out and there we are the email has been set up Abraham at Global Merchants with the details as follows and you can set up as many as 50 email accounts in the all-in-one package this time we're going to log into our webmail account using our 
browser. Um, so there's the URL, your URL. In this case, it's our example URL, which is globalmerchants.co.za forward slash webmail. And let's go right there. Okay, let's put in our email address. Abraham at globalmerchants.co.za and my password. authenticating me that's a successful login let's have a look at our uh, mail now you would have noticed that um, it's gone directly into um, squirrel mail that's because we set squirrel mail as the default um, um, mail client as the default mail client. If we want to change that, we're going to have to go here and choose either Horde, Round Cube, or uh, revert to Squirrel Mail if you have to. Uh, passwords can be changed here. You can configure your mail client here. And there's so many other things you can do. You can forward uh, email from your hosting account to your Gmail account using the forwarders. You can use autoresponders to have people that send you mail receive an automatic reply from your mailbox. And you can um, manage your contact information here, track delivery of your email. So there we are. We've this time logged into our email account via a web browser. And we've managed to log in and it went directly to Squirrel Mail, which is our default um, mail client. There we are. Thank you for watching.